Hello and welcome again to Malton Metal. Uh, I'm knocking out a couple of uh, videos today, uh, so I hope you guys are tuning in um, and that you're liking what I do here. Um, sorry, my chair was uh, positioned oddly. Um, so, we're going to do some Gojira. A lot of you guys wanted me to react to more Gojira. I have um, a bunch of their live videos on the list. Uh, we're gonna do Where Dragons Dwell, because dragons. Uh, so, without too much preamble, we're gonna go ahead and dive right on into this. Um, so this is Gojira, Where Dragons Del Dwell, Where Dragons Dwell, live at Hellfest 2013. So, here we go, right now. Full screen. I love live music. Feeling that bass kick just in your in your soul. <laughs> so awesome when you're there watching it, feeling it live. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Man, they really got that heavy formula down. I like a lot of the chords that they like to use. change. Throwing off my headbangs. Oh god, I love that riff. That's a weird camera effect.
<laughs> Hooray, ambiance. song There's a fucking clown in the mosh pit <laughs> Good. It's really thick and get into it too. I mean I guess you'd have to. It takes a lot of emotion to perform this way. a circle going around but there's no pit in the middle. That was kind of funny.
That was intense. Um, so, wow, okay. Uh, that was, that was awesome. Uh, I, I can't imagine what that must have been like to be there to, to see something like that live. Um, just so emotive and thick and heavy and just dirty. <laughs> That's all I can, you know. Um, I definitely liked it. I, I'm usually not a huge fan of the kind of ambient break in the middle of songs like that. Uh, I think it's because I, like, I'm not usually a fan of ambient, of ambient tracks on an album, and it feels like they just took one of those and crammed it in the middle of a song, and now I have to, to, to get to the good part of the end of the song. I have to suffer through. It's like a track that I can't skip. I mean, I don't really like it when, um, when bands do that. Uh, Tool does it a lot. I fucking love Tool, but Tool has some ambient tracks that I don't really like, or they, they have a lot of ambience in their songs that um, I can kind of do without. Um, I, 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 you know, there are other bands that do it. I think um, I was a huge fan of Mudvayne in high school, um, and they had a, a couple of tracks on their LD50 album that were just ambient noise, um, and it was just kind of like Come on, just get, I want to get to the song. So, minus that part, this was awesome. Thick, heavy, just, uh, like, I don't want to call it slow, but it feels like, you know, you're kind of listening to it through syrup, which is a good, though. Like, it suits the song really well, and it suits the emotions and the, and the style um, that these guys kind of put out, which is nice. I like Gojira from what I've heard, and I'm definitely um, excited to check out more of their stuff. I have more of their songs on my list, so don't worry. Um, a lot of live renditions of a lot of their songs, so I will be getting to those um, in at some point. So don't worry. We'll be getting some more Go Gojira for you guys. Um, but, yeah. So... Keep the suggestions coming. If you like what I do, leave some comments down below. Subscribe if you want to watch some goofy-ass dude um, listen to metal and then talk about it afterwards. Um, in the meantime, stay metal and drink beer. And uh, see you guys next time. <laughs>